What's up guys, what I have for you today is a review of a Windows application called Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. What this application does is it basically screen captures your computer screen. So you can basically record what you're doing on your computer screen. Now, I'm using the camera to record right now because the toolbar that I'm going to so show you appear in the screen capture because there is no room for it. So we're going to do that right now. However, I will show you the editing software using the screen capture. So we're going to open the application. Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 screen capture. That's the screen capture part. All right, so when you launch the application, you're going to be greeted with this toolbar right here. Um, this is the audio part, which basically connects you know, your microphone to the screen capture application. Now, please note, when you record for the first time, your audio won't be recorded because you have to go into the audio settings and then uh, select the microphone that you're going to be using. Um, this is the volume control, which basically allows you to control the volume. And then here's the option to use your webcam. Now, when I had this on, I couldn't get it to work with the screen capture application because the settings, like, they weren't supported with this application. Next, what so, we have uh, here is the capture manager, which basically gives you, tells you where your files will go to after the video is captured. So let's actually start a recording. And let me zoom out a little bit here. Okay, now you see this red border right here. This border like indicates uh, how much of your screen is going to be captured. So you can adjust it to take out the bottom part or you can have it record half of your screen. I have it set to full screen and you can control the width, the height, and then custom, which you can pick any resolution. So we're going to click record to do a test video. Let me zoom in here. This is the message I was talking about. No space to display recording toolbar. It will be hidden. Okay, and then it gives you the hotkeys that we mentioned before. Um, Control Shift F11 is to pause recording. And Control Shift F12 is to stop recording. So we're gonna click OK. And it'll go three, two, one. And as you can see, we are recording right now. And in order to stop the recording, we're gonna click Control shift F12. And once you're done recording, it will pop up this list of all your recordings that you made. So we're going to click play. And as you can see, we are recording right now. And in order to stop the recording, we're going to click Control shift F. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> all right, now. Let's say you wanted to edit this file in order to upload it to YouTube. Uh, or s something else you want to do and you actually want to change the quality because if you, re if you have watched my free quarter review um, the quality wasn't that great because uh, there was a step that I was missing which is why my uh, review of the Google Earth application for PC, Mac, and Linux looked a lot much better right, than the free so quarter app. Now that we got the first part of the video done we're actually doing a screen capture using the Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 screen capture application and I'm going to show you the editing software that came with it. So we're going to launch Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. This one was the screen capture part. This is the editing software. So it's going to load up right now. And you are greeted with this screen right here. Transcoding, Silverlight Project, Live Broadcasting Project. We're going to click OK. Alright, so this is your uh, editing software right here. As you can see, you have your different options over here. Preview, uh, this screen right here, which basically shows you the video that you are editing. And this is the files that you are editing right here, as well as your back, rewind, pause, f fast forward, f next button. And then you have your different options here, so we're going to go to that video we just made so we're gonna go to documents expression expression encoder and we're gonna do screen capture output 
And now we are going to drag this one into this box right here. All right, let's play it and make sure it's the right one. And as you can see, we are recording right now. Okay, so it is. Now, when you, what you're gonna do to put it into YouTube format is you're gonna right click and click in code selected item. But if you wanted to make the quality much better, like make it into HD, 720, whatever, but here's what you're gonna do. So you're gonna go to this system tab right here. You're gonna go to encoding quality. You, you can choose balance, best quality, or fastest. I chose best quality. You're going to scroll down, encoding for devices, WMV, which is the format YouTube ex accepts. And you have your different formats here. If you want it in high quality, I suggest doing VC1, Xbox 360, HD 720p, but, or you can do 1080p. I do 1080p. And you're going to go to the video tab. And you have to make sure this mode is on CBR1 Pass. And after that, you're going to right click. And then encode selected item. And as you can see, it's going to start encoding right now. Okay, it is done encoding. So we're going to close this. No, we do not want to save changes to our job. Okay, so we're going to go back. Output. And here's the file we just and imported. as you can see, we are recording. So as you can see, the quality looks much better than the one that you saw in my free quarter review application. Overall, I can't recommend 